Hi, I'm Jackie Stevens and I um, want to tell you something today, And uh, but I'm shooting from the hip, so I haven't written any of it down, so bear with me. I'm going to try to make sense. Um, number one, I, I was born to a, uh, a Christian family and um, my mom and dad uh, uh, went to church uh, every Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night, and that was that was just what we did. And that's what I learned. And uh, I also learned very much from my mom and dad uh, in uh, uh, daily life when we were doing chores around the farm or whatever we were doing. I was being taught, son, that's not a good thing to do. Don't do that. And uh, so there was many things. Um, just for instance, um, I grew up with the idea that God was against dancing and uh, against uh, musical instruments uh, and against uh, fighting back if somebody was beating you up. Uh, so th there was many things that I was taught from my parents that was wrong. And what they were doing was relaying to me uh, what they had found out by reading the Bible. But the thing is, there was no... Uh, uh, there was no scripture that uh, supported uh, don't protect yourself. Uh, there was no scripture that supported um, um, you can't dance. Uh, it just wasn't there. But you see, I didn't know that as a child. I was taught by my parents, and that's what God has said parents are supposed to do, teach your children and uh, so uh, they were doing what they were supposed to do. But you have to hope that they have uh, understood it correctly and are teaching you correctly. Now, as a child, you listen to your parents. You learn from your parents. So you grow up with these thoughts in your mind. And then suddenly, uh, you're an adult. And uh, with this uh, um, teaching in your head, and unfortunately many of us uh, never even open the Bible when we're children, uh, we listen to mom and dad teach us, and we listen to the preacher teach us. We listen to uh, other people tell us what they think the Bible means. So... Um, this can be very dangerous. Now, I'm not saying that you should not listen to your parents. You must listen to your parents. But what I am saying is, it's very disheartening to go your, your childhood being taught by your parents certain things. And when you become an adult and you look back and you see your mom and your dad doing one of these things that they taught was wrong. Wow, do you know what that does to you? That really makes you start wondering about what else they taught. Now, there is a time when you have to stop blaming mom and dad for things that you don't know or things that uh, were taught to you uh, uh, maybe a little incorrectly. They had in their mind the way they had learned it, the way they wanted to teach it. And so, therefore, they taught it, you learned it, and now, if you're not careful, you can go into life as an adult and start teaching your own children some of these these same things. It's very important to know that if you want to know something about something, you go to the person who knows everything about that something. <laughs> I'm getting to the point. <laughs> um, and those of you who have heard me speak before know that I say, don't listen to him, don't listen to him, don't listen to me, go to 
the source, and that is God's Word. In 2 Timothy 2 and 15, it says, Study to show thyself approved, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed of the Word of God, rightly dividing the Word of God. Um, what that means, you probably know what that means, but it means you study it to show that you are worthy to teach it and to teach it correctly. Now, that's for you, not for the parent. The parent should have already done that, but in case they didn't, in case they misunderstood part of it, you need to be checking this out yourself. You need to study to show yourself approved to teach your children or somebody else that you may be talking with that has uh, uh, asked you for help. So if somebody comes up and says, do I have to do this to be saved? Don't give them an opinion. Tell them to read it. And there's so many places. God covers everything. God covers it all. If you have a question, he has an answer. So sometimes when you follow a, uh, an authority voice, there's a good chance. There is a chance. There's a great chance you're going to hear it wrong. And maybe they just accidentally said it wrong. So if I don't get anything else said, here today. Listen to this. Once again, 2 Timothy 2 and 15. I'm telling you something. This is a command. God said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. So there's got to be some commands. You don't, you don't just believe in God and be saved. But if you believe in God, you'll love him because of what he's done for you. And when you love him, you're going to want to keep his commandments. How are you going to do that if you don't know what they are? So 2 Timothy 2 and 15, study to show thyself approved. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed of the word of God. Rightly dividing the word. Thank you for listening.